Alright you beautiful bargain hunters, deal delvers and all around cheapskates, Glenn Cheapskate Gaming here and I thought we'd check out this game, game called Vein. Um, I'm not going to appear on screen today, I had a look at myself in the video and I, I look bloody awful, I don't know what uh, what's happened. Um, I have been out and about the last couple of days so maybe it just hasn't done me any good. Anyway, what can we get it for? Um, oh, I forgot to bring it over. So, uh, I'm not bothered with a Gamevo because it's overpriced. Um, Aniba... This is with checkout fees, so it's 47 pence plus a checkout fee, 84 pence bargain. And then we go to this one I've been going to recently. I still haven't yet bought anything from them. 88 pence. So they're about the same, more or less, which pays you money, you takes your choice. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's go and check out what Vane's about. Right, so here we are in the main game here, and we need to check out the graphics options. Now, unfortunately, I did start it earlier. Um, and I wasn't recording any sound. My own fault. But uh, right, okay. Graphic options. There's not much to choose from. You've got the detail level and your resolution. So not much to go there. Just resume the game. And of course, right. So we play in as a a crow. I'm guessing it's a crow or a raven. Something from the Corvid family. Yeah. Not just a pretty face, mate. So there's these, well the game's called Veins, so there's these like weather veins. Um, and so far what I've worked out is you call um, and you line on, land on these shiny objects and it makes your other mates, the other crows, come to, towards this big vein. And you can hold B and you can sort of land on this I think. Just try it. Oh, what are you doing? crazy bird but essentially it's a bit like a sort of flight simulator type thing but some sort of story of it I'm not sure um, I was landing on this earlier but let's try and find some more shinies um, I have no idea which way to go but what I'm going to do I'm going to get some height but I tell you what graphically stunning little game now, of course, it won't be quite as smooth on my recording because I'm running OBS as well. Uh, and to be honest, I need to get a better CPU in my PC for recording and uh, and playing the game at the same time. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go with what works at the minute. Um, as obviously, the landscape is built up into these different biomes or areas. It's got a great sense of awe, and what I'm getting is definitely a sense of like the game Journey, where um, the only difference is this one just doesn't hold your hand. I've got no idea where I'm supposed to be going and what I'm supposed to be doing. Ah, there's a shiny. Do you see it's shiny in the distance? So we're going to go and land on that. Let's try and get to over there as quick as we can. We can keep tapping the A button to flap your wings. And we're going to go and land on here. Yes, and there's my mates, the crows, and what will happen is now they'll start to follow. I think what's going to eventually happen is we're going to break that big vein. There we go. And if I call now, you can see the, the big vein there. It's telling me press Y. And watch this, the point towards there. We'll shoot these weird things out. I don't know what they are, but... All the other crows now will start to follow over to that direction. Did I just spot another shiny down there? But you can see my crow mates have all gone in that direction somewhere. They're quite hard to spot now. But uh, I'm going to go down here because I'm sure I've seen another shiny thing down here. And I was wrong. But yeah, I, I... Oh, was I wrong? No, I wasn't wrong. What's this? Oh, it's a broken one. Oh, that's bad. Ooh, look at this, there's an underground, under, under, 
Oh, we've got to go and check this out. I tell you what, the controls are nice, the graphics are nice, it plays quite well. Wait, it's an interesting. Oh, there's definitely a. Sh yep, there's a shiny over there. We'll go and get this one and I think we'll go back to the vein. the B button. Wait for my mates to land and then we press the Y button. Let's pop this out. Boop! Out it comes. There we go. And there's all the crows following it. Let's go and follow them. Cue groovy music. And I dare say this eventually gets you into some sort of adventure. Um, and I, I dare say a, a story unfolds, but it's going to be one of those where the story unfolds so it's kind of like in a visual sense rather than uh, being told in a sort of a narrative sense then. A bit like how Journey unfolds its story. I'm loving, I'm loving the graphics on this. I don't think you need too high a machine to run it either. Um, I know when I take my... Oh, when I stop recording on OBS, it just goes straight to 144 frames. So, as you can see now, I've got loads of crows flying around. I'm going to try and land on the vein up here. Tell me which way to go, I wonder. I think eventually we're going to break it. I think that's telling me which way to go. There's something in that ball there as well. Anyway, I'll pause it here because this has been Glenn Cheapskate Gaming News and no cheese to keep safe gaming and uh this is vain you can pick it up for less than a pound um and definitely if you fancy one of those sort of journey style adventures um you know it's probably worth a couple of nights play then grab it why not it seems really good game beautiful graphics nice little sort of mysterious sort of story going on i, I do like these sort of games anyway we'll see you in the next one goodbye now